Hi guys, Jared with Backwoods Animation, and After Effects can be scary, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, it took me several years to fully understand After Effects, and when it did click, it finally made sense. It's a very powerful tool, and in this course, I'm going to walk you through some basic techniques and tools you'll be using just to get your feet wet. So that by the end of the course, we're going to create a very simple animation with some effects added to it, uh, just to show you that it's not that scary. It's going to be a fun course, and I'm going to very easily and simply walk you through it step by step. So let's get started. Just to let you guys know, if you want to take the full course, click the link below and follow it to my Skillshare class where you can take the entire course where I walk you step by step through the very basics of After Effects. Otherwise, keep watching this clip and enjoy the animation tutorial. Now I want to animate a organic option. So let's say that we have, we have kind of like this ellipse tool. So using the pen tool, I'm going to draw out a shape. Okay. Oops. And once I get a shape that looks kind of like how I want it, what I'll do is I'll hit Y on the keyboard, and then I'm going to move my anchor point around to the center. Okay. And then coming to keyframe one, I'm going to hit P on the keyboard, key the position, then I'll move forward to one second. Oh, you, you know what I did? I moved the anchor point on the um, object within my shape layer. So that's good to do too, but I, I needed to also move the anchor point on my shape layer. So make sure it's all blue and it's not this white square blue, right? Okay, so we're all we're gonna go all blue, hit Y, and then we'll move it to the center. Okay, now we can go forward one frame, or do one second. We'll move it over, and then I'm gonna move it back at one second. Boom. Okay, then I'm gonna select all my keyframes, hit F9, uh, and then I'm gonna do basically what I did with the first one. I want, I want that look to it. I want it to kind of like move around because this is gonna be an organic shape. So we'll try the ellipse thing again. We'll see how that works. Let's just hit play, see how it looks. All right, not too bad. I think I want this moving quite a bit faster. So what I'll do is I'll do a one second animation instead of a two second animation. Then I'll hit N on the keyboard. And now I have one second here. Okay, and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to get some smear. I want to get like a squash and stretch happening so that I can show you how to animate the path of these things. So if I come down into my contents, I select my shape layer, I'm gonna key the path at one, at zero. <coughs> and then as my animate, as my um, blob moves, I'm gonna just pull it up and in, almost like it's stretching. See that? And maybe this will come up a little bit. like so. All right, and this might be a little bit too much, but maybe it'll stretch right there. And then as it hits, it's gonna settle back to zero. Boom. Maybe it'll offset just a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch it out to this side, pull it in, like so. And then as we hit at zero, we'll come back to our original frame. Control C and B. I'm gonna space these out a little bit better.
All right, that's not too bad. Another thing we can do is we're going to, we'll animate the rotation of this thing. Um, so that as he goes down, maybe we'll have a rotation already. <laughs> we'll key it. Right here, it needs to be following the path. So you wanna make sure that it's always in line with the path that we're on. So that right here, it's gonna be basically vertical. Actually, no, that's too much. We want it to be like that. Uh, I think that'll work. And this will be, whoops, this will be upward. And we'll paste it back to zero. Okay, so now there's a few keyframes in here. I think this one needs to be zero. Or maybe it needs, to, there's something it needs to do. Okay, I like that. It like kind of drops down, whoops, drops down. And then very quickly moves upward. So maybe I can just delete that one. And we're just trying to line these up so that they, they hit pretty accurately. So here it needs to drop down this way. All right, that looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna hit F9 and we'll just hit play. All right, that's not too bad. There's a little pop when it comes to this side. I'm trying to understand what it is. Maybe it's this guy. So let's select it and hit U, and let's um, hit F9 for these paths. All right, that's not too bad. Mm, I feel like there's something weird happening. Is it that? Maybe it's that. All right, there we go. We just weren't looping properly. So you wanna make sure that your starting keyframes are exactly the same as your ending keyframes. Then once you have that set up, then playing it should look just fine. Okay, so that walks you through the path shapes. Um, so it's as simple as keying your path and then moving forward on the timeline and adjusting it to make whatever shape you need. Um, you can do things like animate hair this way. Obviously you can animate things like blobs and whatnot, um, but it's a very organic way of animating and you can get some really cool effects with it. Thanks for watching guys. And again, click the link below if you wanna take the full course and learn all there is to offer about After Effects. If you're a beginner, and it's very intimidating for you to even open After Effects, my course will kind of walk you through it very simply so that it's not so overwhelming. All right, thanks for watching, guys.